Hey Virgo, welcome to July. Okay, so we are going to look at the main theme for the month, where to focus your energy, what are your challenges, um, what you need to release, and challenges and releases might be particularly important in the month of July just because we're coming into a Mercury retrograde. Then we're going to look at um, your money and career. And the reason why we're going to focus on that is because on the Facebook page, I had asked, what is the most important thing that you guys want to see in this month's reading? And that was the general consensus. We're also going to look at love for singles, for couples, and for those in undefined relationships. So an undefined relationship could be an on-again, off-again relationship. It could be a polyamorous relationship. It could be um, maybe you just started talking and it's not Facebook official, anything like that, okay? So here we go. Main theme for the month for Virgo. Um, you might not be feeling necessarily appreciated by other people. Like people, you may be feeling kind of judged, like other people don't find you to be as successful or, um, you know, whatever, as you typically want them to feel about you. Um, but these are lies that you're telling yourself, okay? Um, the things that other people are thinking about you um, might not actually be the stories we're making up in our heads about that. Uh, even if their behaviors tend to match the narrative that we are creating, it's not necessarily the case, okay? So something to keep in mind and to be conscious of, where should you be focusing your energy and they're saying taking the lessons you've learned and applying them to your life so that you have a more calm and peaceful day-to-day um, -day experience, okay? Now, you're moving away from things that were maybe somewhat tumultuous for you emotionally, even if they're not outwardly dramatic. And so you can experience a lot more calm, and that should be your focus, is a lot more peace and calm throughout the month of July. Now, the challenges that you'll be facing are about your own confidence, which totally makes sense with that main theme of the month. Um, kind of, I know who I am and what I want, and um, really valuing yourself. They're saying, like, there's some painful or disappointing things that might be occurring for you, um, but a lot of the pain and disappointment are based on the stories that we're telling ourselves. So let's say that somebody, a colleague at work, says something mean or they're like a little snippy with you, you might think that it's because they don't like you. But actually what could be happening is they might have something going on at home that's really stressing them out. They're not getting enough sleep at night. And so they're snippy with everybody. But we create a story in our head or a narrative that says, oh, you know, so-and-so doesn't like me. And then we get ourselves all stressed out at work and we're worried about what they're thinking when really it has zero to do with you, okay? Um, what is it that you need to release this month and they're saying um, the some, something that's not typical, like something that you haven't been previously working on um, that will bring you more peace over the extended period of time. Like the more that you worry or the, the more that you work on finding peace, finding like taking what we've learned in our life generally and applying it, um, the more that we're going to feel... I guess, stable and successful uh, in our life. But that's not like pretty nonspecific. And I wonder if that's because it's a general reading and it'll be a different item for each Virgo that watches this. So I could give you more information in a personal reading. But let's see if they'll narrow it down for us. And they just say, yeah, it's basically about um, deception or lies that we tell ourselves about different situations. So I feel like um, we might be drawing conclusions about what other people do, about what they say, about how they speak to us, and maybe those conclusions are inaccurate, okay? Um, so what's going on with your money and career for the month of July? And they say there's really not much to tell. So I wouldn't expect things to be much different than they were in June. Um, they say decisions that you've made throughout June and the beginning of July, we might be, again, kind of telling ourselves different stories about how that's actually going to affect us. So let's say we made like a super big new purchase. We bought a home or we bought a car. We might be telling ourselves like, oh, wait, fuck, I kind of regret this. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford it. 
but actually that's not the case. Things are going to work themselves out for you and things will be exactly the same that they were even though you might be adding a new expense or something like that. They say this is a month in which you could get really lucky in certain financial or workplace scenarios, um, but nothing that would be completely out of the blue or unexpected. They say you could expect somebody to give you some good news, so that could be news of a bonus or news of a promotion or something like that, although that's not for all Virgos. They say the Virgos that are not expressing a ton of um, positivity and joy and love into their workplace environment are probably not going to experience that. So if that's kind of your default mode, um, to be a little bit grumpy or whining and complaining about your workplace, you won't be one of those lucky Virgos. But if you are one who like focuses on the positive and, um, you know, you have like a lot of like good juju and vibes going on at work, then, um, this is something to be excited about. They say that for many Virgos this month in regards to career and money, um, there's naturally going to be a little bit of anxiety or fear there, but there doesn't necessarily need to be. And when I went back, to, when I was talking about that deception, um, that's something I wanted to mention here because they say that support is around you and available to you, um, but you just might not be reaching out or accessing it. And so if you're in a money pinch, um, there's probably a friend or a sibling that is willing to help you out or um, some sort of a, you know, for example, it might get really expensive using the air conditioning during July, depending on where you live. And so maybe the electric company has some sort of like a, um, they have like these plans to average out what your utility bills would be, something like that, but you're just not looking into it or utilizing it. And so they're saying this is a month in which you'd want to take advantage of that. As far as love life goes for single Virgos, they're saying that um, what you put into dating or looking for a partner is what you'll get back this month. They're saying a lot of you are maybe just not even looking or trying, and so you can't really expect that somebody's just going to like show up on your doorstep. They're saying um, this month be open to other people setting you up or other people's suggestions as to um, how you might go about finding new love, if that's something that you want, because those will be valuable for you. Um, you could find matches that way. They're saying that this month people are looking at you um, favorably, to the point, though, where they might even be putting you on a pedestal. Um, so you might be encountering, if you're talking to people, trying to date, people who maybe feel insecure around you, like they're not good enough for you, which is kind of annoying, right? Um, but the thing is, is even if you try, if you try to make it work with that kind of a person, you're going to very quickly realize that they're not the right person for you. You want to be with somebody who feels like they're your equal so that they treat you as an equal. Although for a moment, it might be kind of fun to have somebody who like adores you and you know, like basically worships the ground that you walk on over time, you'll start to be bored with that. And because they don't value themselves the amount um, that they value you, you also won't respect them. Okay, so just keeping that in mind. So for those of you who are coupled, what they say is nothing really to worry about here. Um, it looks like your relationship is kind of coming into this new peaceful, calm um that you've learned a lot about each other and about yourselves within the relationship. And so it seems like smoother sailing from here forward. They're saying that um, there are th things that are like growing and expanding within the relationship that should be tangible for you. So, um, you know, you might be taking things to next level, meeting parents or extended family. Maybe, you know, you get pregnant this month. That's definitely a possibility for coupled Virgos. They say that decisions will have to be made surrounding these kind of energies. But um, essentially, this is all a really, really good thing. Everything that even seems like difficult for you within your relationship is for the highest good, okay? Now, for those of you in undefined circumstances, what they say here is that very similar to the singles, that you're going to get out of your relationship or situation what you put into it. They're saying some of you are um, really open to love and waiting to see how things kind of turn out, but there might not be the sort of um, outcomes that you want as quick as you want. So maybe you are trying to get back together with an ex. It might not work out 
in the month of July, but perhaps in August. Like if you try really hard to work on things, maybe at that point in time, it will work out and it might not even be until September. Um, they're saying things just kind of move slower than you want, but there is this energy of things balancing out. What you put in, you're gonna get back. So if you put in zero energy, you'll get zero result. okay? Um, so that is your July and I can't wait to talk to you in August. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!